This explain everything is going to compare oogenesis with spermatogenesis. Both of these processes start with a stem cell. The stem cell is going to be diploid, um, stem cell indicating that it is capable of continual regeneration. And that cell in females is known as the oogonium, and in males is known as the spermatogonium. These diploid stem cells then undergo mitosis to create two identical daughter cells, and these cells are going to be called the primary oocyte or the primary spermatocyte, recognizing because this is mitosis, you are also going to have diploid cells. These cells then undergo meiosis, and we know that there's two stages of meiosis, meiosis 1 where the homologous chromosomes separate, meiosis 2 where the sister chromatids separate. After meiosis 1, you are going to have the secondary oocyte, and in males, the secondary spermatocyte. Okay, both of these cells are now going to be haploid. Meiosis II then continues, and you end up with the ovum and the spermatid, again, haploid. Appreciate the fact that in females, the primary oocyte undergoes meiosis, but both of the cells that develop do not turn into the secondary oocyte. Only one of them does and the other cell is known as the primary, or sorry, the first polar body. Okay, this cell then may or may not undergo meiosis II. Okay. Following meiosis II, the secondary oocyte develops into the um, ovum and the secondary polar body. So in females, of the four cells that arise from meiosis, only one actually develops into the ovum. With males, on the other hand, all four spermatids eventually get turned into sperm, and the pr product of spermatogenesis is actually four haploid spermatids. One more thing to look at in oogenesis is timing. During fetal development, the oogonium undergoes mitosis to produce the primary oocyte. However, that gets arrested when it starts into meiosis, it gets arrested at prophase 1. So a female is born with all the primary oocytes that she will have and it's all arrested in prophase 1. At puberty, the um, secondary oocyte is going to be formed through meiosis 1 every month. Um, however, it also gets halted at metaphase 2. So the secondary oocyte is going to remain at metaphase 2 every month unless there's fertilization, at which point the meiosis II will continue and you will get the development of the ovum. So in summary, the fetal period includes mitosis and the very first part of meiosis up to prophase 1. Then upon puberty, the meiosis continues up to the um, secondary oocyte and then you're only going to get meiosis II, the production of the ovum upon fertilization. This is different than in males, where the process of spermatogenesis is continuous um, post-puberty. The spermatids that have been created through the process of spermatogenesis still have to undergo morphological changes and metamorphosis, and this is going to create the actual sperm cells known as spermatozoa. This process is known as spermiogenesis, not spermatogenesis. And then the spermatozoa are released into the lumen of the seminiferous tubules through a process known as spermiation.